Okay, the last practice problem, number six, is to sort of simulate rolling five Yahtzee dice. So uh, if you've never played Yahtzee, you basically roll five dice and then you have things like uh, three of a kind or small straight, or things like that. Um, so the first step, if you wanted to actually build a computer game, would be to be able to randomly generate uh, dice. And so I've given a little bit of starter code here. Um, the uh, random module has a function called rand range. And what it does is it generates a random number between the beginning of the range and the end of the range. And this range operates in the same way as the actual range object in that we our, our second argument has to be one number higher than the number that we want. So if we want it to simulate a dice, we want it to give us numbers between one and six. So let's go ahead and put this in a cell and try it out. Okay, now I'm gonna have a problem. Let's see what it is. Oh, interesting. I didn't have a problem. Uh, I was expecting it to complain that it didn't know what rand range was, but I guess it's still remembering up here when I said import random as R. Uh, let's just check this out and make sure that what I'm saying is right. If I say X instead of R and run it, yep, there it goes. It says name X is not def defined. So it actually would be better if I would go ahead, pretend like this is a separate script and say input random as R, which I have already done up above, but I'll, better to just put it in here and it doesn't hurt to put it in twice. Okay, so it didn't complain, but it also didn't tell me anything. Let's tell it to print Oh, I forgot to use the pep thing of snake case. All right, let's try that. Run it. We get the number three. We get the number two. We get the number five. Okay, it looks like it's working. We got five again. We got three again. Okay, so we are generating a random number between one and six. What do we need to do next? Um, okay, so to simulate the rolling of five dice, create an empty list, run a for loop five times. In each loop, generate a random number and append it to the list and then print the list. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So first thing we need to do is to create an empty list. And let's just call this list, uh, Let's see, equals an empty list. Okay, then we want to do a for loop or roll. In. Okay, now how am I gonna, uh, let's see, I wanna roll five dice. So probably the most straightforward way to do this would be to say, go from zero to five, and it'll go zero, one, two, three, four, and stop, that's five numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. And I need to indent this so I can highlight it <clears throat> and hit the tab key. And let's just see if it does this five times. Uh, oh, I made my usual mistake of forgetting to put in the colon. Do that all the time. There we go, here's my five numbers. Okay, so I'm printing five random numbers, but I actually, don't want to just print them, I want to put them into my list. So instead of printing the random number, what I need to do is say, dot z dot end random number. 
So the number that I generate needs to get appended to the list. And then do I want to see the list every time it does it, or do I want to see it at the end? Let's try putting it here first. Print C, and let's try that. OK, so this is actually showing us what happens each step along the way. So here it's appended the first number. Here it's appended the second number, the third number, the fourth number, and the fifth number. So we can see the inner workings of it, but we really don't need to print it every time. So let's just take that out of the indent and try running it again. And there's my list. And I can see that every time I run this, I get a different set of uh, numbers. Um, so yeah, one of the things that would actually be even more cool would be to have it do the number rolling a whole bunch of times. Um, but I think we'll not get into that right now.